Okay, gang, the Corona police are back at the same Arco again on another person. It looks like a homeless person. He had a cart out here. I think she put him into the car. Let's see what they do with the cart of stuff. When I pulled up, she was closing the car door. So let's see what they do with his stuff. They're gonna put it in the car or not. Probably not, let's see. But I tried to get here in time, I got caught up in traffic. There's his stuff. That's his property. See, she put the back window down for the guy. So he's in the back of the car. Let's see what they do with his property. So if they leave his property, I'm gonna be pissed. Let's come up here where we can see what they're gonna do with the gloves. And again, you might see some jump cuts. It's just me shaking the camera or standing there. So you guys don't want to see all of that. So he's in the back. That's why she put the window down for him to get some air. They're gonna search his property. I should be over there filming the property. Let me see, see he's talking to him. Asking him questions. Yeah, so. So they're cleaning up Corona today. See what's going on. And yep, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm filming. Did he just hook his thumb? Yeah. I don't know, I could be wrong. I thought he just hooked his thumb to say, guy's filming over here. Yeah, it looks like they're taking his property. That's good. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's a homeless guy trying to live the American dream. And uh, I don't know why he was arrested. You know, it could be for a warrant or something. We don't know. Yeah, just throw his, just throw his crap on the ground. He's homeless, right? Doesn't matter. That was a picture. It sounded like a picture frame. Just throw it on the ground. It's just a homeless guy, right? I'm being facetious, of course. Oh, you can go. I'm just making sure they take his property and not leave it. <laughs> so we're going to take the cart and everything after throwing it on the ground. And it might have been an accident, so I apologize if I'm being cynical. It just didn't look well, but... I'm not always right. I'm human. But I do want to ensure that this man's property is secured. Because you don't want to just leave it like he's some dog, you know. That's not right. You know, every person born here has a right to be secure in their property. Whether they're, no matter who it is, you know. Unless it's stolen property and then they violated someone else's rights, so they have no rights, as far as I'm concerned. But if it's their own property, yeah, you know, you have a Fourth Amendment right to be secure in it. So we got a couple of things to get to you today. I'm behind a couple of videos here.
So it looks like they're going to do okay taking his stuff. But like I said, it's a homeless guy trying to just live the American dream. But if they're taking him to jail, I don't know what the... I don't know, I'm almost positive if I walk over and ask what's he going to jail for, or what was he arrested for, they'll look at me like I'm stupid. going I forget what it, I think it's 1015 when you arrest somebody a little rusty on some of my coats they've got his property they've got him and they're gonna take him off and then I drove by the other car it's gone now so I'm not sure if they told him he has to leave but now there's like three or four cars over there so maybe he called his friends and said, hey, come park over here, man. These cops are harassing people. I don't know. That's, you know, as much as you guys hate assumptions, that's kind of what that was, an assumption. And I know when you make an assumption, you make an ass out of you and umption. This is now you kaipa. Making sure everybody's rights are retained. <laughs> 